Hey YouTubers, Dan here. Just about to start the bike up. Uh, wanted to run you through a process of elimination on how to troubleshoot starting a bike that's been sitting for quite a long time. But before we get into that, let's jump into a little bit of history about the bike. I've owned this thing for 20 years. The last six years, it sat in storage. So we went and pulled it out of storage, went to get it started, got it started, struggled, and sounded like absolute It was horrible. So we pinpoint the fact that the carbies, maybe fuel, bad stuff had gone through the fuel. But what I wanted to do was break this down into a video that made it really easy to diagnose and do the process of elimination to starting a bike. Now, there's four common issues. One being spark, two being compression, three being carbines, and four being the fuel system. Now, when we're pointing at the fuel system, it could be, could be multiple things. It could be that there's rust in the tank, it could be filter, it could be uh, lines, it could be vacuum to your pet cock. So trying to determine which one um, is obviously a process of elimination. The best way is to write it all down, go through it, tick it off. Now, this particular situation, when we went to start it, we decided to pull everything down. That's why we've rebuilt almost all of it, except for the engine. The engine's been fantastic. Um, we've gone through all the brakes, rebuilt with calipers, um, polished everything up, cleaned everything up. So we're at the starting point now. The carburetor's got sent away. I got someone to go through them and rebuild them. We've also gone through and built, uh, rebuilt the petcock. Um, which was causing a bit of a drama as well. Now, I'm suspecting that the issue is in the fuel side of things, but we have started it multiple times, so there could be a problem with spark. So, I suppose the next step is, let's jump in there and start showing you a few ways of getting this thing started. Let's do it. First thing I like to do is test for spark. Pull out the spark plug, put it up on um, against metal, and just go and start it and see if you can see a spark. It's a bit faint, but it's there. There it is. Now, in the meantime, I am going to change it for a brand new spark plug. I know that these particular spark plugs, I mucked around with them last time before we rebuilt the carbies and everything, and. Um, I could have fouled one up in the meantime. So we'll just change them as we go. Now the other thing is grab a sock and test your compression. Yes, you can use a compression tool, but you can also just put a sock there like that. Just get him out of the way. And as you start it, you should be pushing that sock out. Gives you a good idea. You can hear, you can hear the compression. You can hear the boof, boof, boof. So, but to actually physically see it, the next step is, is actually to put a tool on it and test that the compression is right. So, but that does give you a good, good, good indication. Like I said, in this situation, I believe it's got a lot to do with fuel and it could point to the fuel cock. So the fuel cock, now it has been looked at. I have got an aftermarket one. I might chuck that on just to test it because it's brand new. Let's move to the next one. Great spark. If you use a product like this in Australia, we, <laughs> it's got an awesome name. It's called Start Your Bastard, right from Nullins. Now if you spray this into your um, air filter, 
right, and you go to start the bike and it cranks over for a couple seconds, you automatically know that those spark plugs are okay and your compression's fine. Okay, so you can eliminate it. It's always good to go through your spark plugs, especially if the bike's been sitting for a long time, but at least you can eliminate that issue. Okay, now that we have eliminated the spark issue, we've gone through each individual spark plug and we've tested to see that there was spark. I did notice that the far one was very weak. That was the one I replaced. The other three were actually really good. They had a very bright spark. If you found that they didn't have spark, then what you would want to be doing is looking at either the lead or you want to be looking at the coil pack. So that's, that's that. Leads us on to the next thing. Now, as mentioned, the carburetors have been rebuilt already. So we can tick that one off. We've gone through spark, so that's number two. We've ticked that one off. Now, I've already cleaned this tank, and what I'll do is, let me zoom in here. So we're gonna focus on, not so much about the cleaning of it, because I have already cleaned this tank, um, and I was really fortunate that it kept really well over the last six years, and one of those reasons is because I use this product called Stabilizer, which stabilizes the fuel. And a good thing is to make sure that you do keep quite a bit of fuel in there and try and start it as much as possible. Now where this bike went wrong was with that we got to a point where we stopped starting it. Um, it was just, you know, things happen in life and you know, young children and other priorities. So, you know, it just completely got stopped. The last process to fuel system is testing the vacuum on the actual pet cock itself. So what I've done is I've connected up this little guy here which is just a brake bleeder. Okay, and I've, I've connected him to the back of the petcock right there. So I'm just gonna put this camera down right here. And just using this pump, there he is there. I'm gonna pump him once, and we should see fuel come out. There we go. So that means it's that's the vacuum applied and that's fuel coming out. Now that vacuum is gonna stay on it. I've gotta basically disconnect this for that fuel to stop coming out. Uh, due to having carbies is vacuum. So you wanna be looking at this little hose here. Okay, that comes off the carbies. It goes, runs to the back of the petcock. So all we're gonna be doing, putting our finger over this, like that. And we're going to crank it over. There we go. And I felt that suck. So I know that there is definitely vacuum there. Um, and make sure you change the filter in it also. Okay. 
Now we've gone through carbon, spark, fuel, and compression. We put the tank back on, boom, it started. Okay, so guys, that's pretty straightforward. It's really easy. Sometimes it's just as simple as just spark plugs. Okay, and as mentioned before, before you even start, try a bit of start, you bastard. All right, even if you disconnect, you disconnect your tank and just spray that in it, just to hear it crank over that one time or twice, at least you know that you've eliminated it, but it's always good to go through all that sort of stuff. Hopefully, this has helped you in some particular way, and uh, if you've got any questions, chuck it in the comments, and be more than happy to answer. Hit the like button and press the subscribe. Thanks, see you next time.